certainly was. Fox 13 celebrates black heritage by saluting a community leader who's had a tremendous impact on children. Ed Kirk found his passion as a young boy and is now turning out young champions in Brandon. Ed's accomplishments are what's right with Tampa Bay. When Ed Kirk retired to Florida 15 years ago, he not only wanted to live near the water, he wanted to be in it all the time. It's part of me. It's past the love state. It's, just, it's in my bones, it's in, in, in my head, in, in my body. Something he discovered as a kid swimming in a segregated Chicago public pool before the civil rights movement. I went into the pool. I saw all these people swimming. I said, wow, that's look like fun. In 1950, Ed became the first African-American high school swimming champion in Illinois, competing against and beating white swimmers. I was really proud. But it was an outcome white coaches tried to prevent. I didn't pay that any mind. The white swimmers protested, telling their coaches if Ed wasn't allowed to swim, they wouldn't compete either. And I appreciate them and thank them for it. Ed went on to swim for Tennessee State University and then the U.S. Army swim team as the only African-American swimmer. Ready? Hope. This quiet, confident pioneer became a high school swimming coach for 30 years. <laughs> and now mentors youth of all races at the Brandon YMCA. He's tough. <laughs> He's tough. <laughs> I like a coach that can push. He'll take notes during the meet, and he'll tell us exactly what we need to work on, and then he'll make drills and practices centered around that. Everybody's doing well. Ed doesn't plan Everybody's to stop coaching anytime soon. He'll go for as long as he can. It's his lifelong love. Let's try to aim for 130. <laughs> A fellow mentioned said, you're going to coach until you die. I said, well, if that's it, uh, so be it. He said it's in his bones. Isn't that something, an inspiration? Oh, well, he's a pro. He knows oh, what he it's is. all about. Yes, he does. That's great. TMZ TV is coming up, then The Insider. Up to see you tonight at 10.